this is the tumor of the ovary, which is quite cystic in some areas. And in some other areas, it is associated with papillary structures and papillary type of growth. So let's go higher. And on higher magnification, we can see that uh, the cystic structures are lined by serous type of epithelium, which resembles normal epithelium uh, of the fallopian tube, for example. Cystic ovarian tumor lined by only this type of the epithelium could be called serous cyst adenoma. However, in some other parts of the tumor, we can uh, recognize these papillary structures composed of hierarchically branching uh, papillary components. Invasive type, uh, invasive type of growth is not found, and therefore this is the typical appearance of serous borderline tumor, also called atypical proliferative serous tumor of the ovary. The papillary structures have central fibrous stroma, and they are lined by slightly atypical uh, epithelium with the tufting and budding, which we can see here and here. The epithelial cells are typically cuboidal or cylindric. We see overlapping of the nuclei and slight cytomorphological nuclear atypia. The cytoplasm is eosinophilic, and here we see the tufting and budding of the epithelium. If we look at the basement membrane, it is intact, and this type of tumor is not associated with invasive type of growth. These are not invasive nests. This is just a cross-section of the papillary structures. Uh, those nests are not associated with desmoplastic reaction. Based on the histological appearance, we can differentiate two types of serous borderline tumor, conventional variant and micropapillary variant. Uh, so this is an example of conventional type of borderline serous tumor. The papillary structures are quite broad and short, unlike in micropapillary variant, which is associated with thin, long uh, papillary uh, structures. This atypical or border borderline component of the tumor can be seen uh, in only part of the tumor, and therefore sampling is quite important. Sometimes we uh, see normal uh, serous cyst adenoma with only minimal borderline component, and uh, if the borderline component creates less than 10% uh, of the volume of the tumor, uh, we shouldn't diagnose it as borderline serous cyst adenoma, or we should call it serous cyst adenoma with focal atypia or with focal epithelial proliferation. On the other hand, we need to exclude low-grade serous carcinoma with uh, invasive, invasive type of growth. Thanks for watching.